Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Chrome Tour Golf Ball from Callaway. Welcome into Golf Central, Whit Watson, Trip Eisenhower. Longtime club pro Frank Bensel Jr. did something at the U.S. Senior Open that likely has never been done. Aces on back-to-back -back holes. Yes, Newport Country Club has back-to-back -back par threes, and yes, Bensel aced them both. He is 56 years old from Jupiter, Florida. He teaches at a club in New York. Playing in his third senior event, he explained it. Well, I mean, first of all, you know, I've played a lot of golf in my life, and uh, just to see a home one in a tournament is pretty rare, and um, for me to have that, it was, it was great, and, you know, uh, I'm out here trying to play, play well and, and make the cut, and at, at the time, it was pretty important for me to do that, and, and, and uh, so the first one was great, uh, so that got me under par for the day, and then the second one, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, it was... Um, to even think that that could happen was, was amazing. So um, hit the ball kind of in the right place, and then it just started rolling. I said, you know, I mean, I was kidding around. I said, okay, now let's go for another one. <laughs> and uh, it happened to, uh, happened to go in. I mean, everybody just couldn't believe it. We all went, went uh, nuts. I've got a lot of family and friends here, and they were all kind of going crazy. And, and the guys I played with just, uh, you know, they just, same thing, couldn't believe it. And it was, it was amazing. You're supposed to buy a round of drinks. Do you not have to buy everyone two rounds of drinks? In Is that right? Yeah. No, I think uh, it's, it's, they're all complimentary in the, uh, okay. in the players' lounge, thankfully. His son with him, caddying for him. The USGA confirmed it's never been done in a USGA competition, a championship. Hole number four playing 184. Hole number five playing 205. He used the same club and the same golf ball on both par threes. The golf ball is heading to the USGA Museum. Meanwhile, at the Rocket Mortgage in Detroit, Akshay Batia with a 67 to follow a round of 64. He is tied for the lead at 13 under par as they head for the weekend. And after his round, Batia talked to Todd Lewis. Hey, follows up a 64 with a nice number again today. And when we talked yesterday after that impressive number, you said that you may not have had your A plus game, but you were able to score. How would you describe what your game was like today? Well, uh, I've, you know, it's so early today. It's always hard for me to kind of get my body moving uh, as well as I'd like. So there's a lot of adjusting today. I mean, the golf ball was wet, so you're trying to figure out the spin numbers and distance and how far the ball is going. It was cooler today, so uh, I think we did a great job as far as plotting around the golf course. But as far as the golf swing goes, it didn't feel nearly as good as. Um, you know, it did yesterday with the irons, and so I just got to clean that up. Do you take some satisfaction in, in the fact that although your swing wasn't there, you were still able to go bogey-free and put up that nice number? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I want to be in this position more and more, and uh, it's nice to, uh, you know, get a score of, of what I had today, and, you know, that's what I just got to keep doing. If it doesn't feel good, I just I have other parts of my game that can kind of keep my score going. Second time playing this event, you missed the cut last year, but obviously you're playing well here this year. How would you describe the comfort you have here at Detroit Golf Club this week? Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's all right in front of you, which is awesome. We don't play many golf courses anymore that are old school. And so having a little familiarity of this place is, is really nice. And, um, you know, you just you have a lot of the same shots. It feels like a lot of those wedges. And then, um, yeah, it's just it's fun to play. Good news is you don't have to get up early tomorrow. We'll see you on Saturday late in the afternoon, okay? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Take a look at that leaderboard. Akshay Batia is tied with Aaron Rye at 13 under par with Cameron Young, Taylor Montgomery, Troy Merritt, and Eric Van Ruyen. Those two players shooting 64 today. Aaron Rye went birdie birdie to finish his round and tie for the lead, and then he spoke to Todd Lewis. Yeah, what a way to finish your birdie, 17 and 18. That birdie putt, 21-footer on the 18th hole, has you now tied for the lead heading into the weekend. What was working well today? Continued off the same kind of vein as yesterday, really. Uh, felt like I drove it pretty well. Um, hit a lot of good approach shots. Felt like I hit a lot of greens. Um, I gave myself a lot of looks, and yeah, nice to finish off that way on 17 and 18. When you teed it up today, especially coming off the great round you had on Thursday, did you feel like you had an aggressive mentality or, as far as strategy goes, attacking the golf course? 
I wouldn't say overly aggressive. I think it is a pretty scorable course, especially with the conditions. It's playing pretty soft. Uh, the fairways are playing that little bit wider. It is easier to be a little more aggressive to the pins. Um, but that was always kind of the plan from the start of the week, really, shooting. Um, the score we shot yesterday didn't really influence um, how we went about today. You're halfway through this this tournament, uh, and you've got an opportunity now to pick up your first one on the PGA Tour. But I've looked back at recent finishes for you, top 20 finishes, and last one coming at the U.S. Open. Do you feel like your game is trending in the direction it needs to be going? Yeah, I feel like the game is in a good place, striking it well, tee to green. Um, the short game is is feeling pretty good too, and it's it's nice to see a few putts go in over the last couple of days. Um, that's been a little inconsistent at times for me over the last few months. Um, so, yeah, kind of feeling like I'm rolling it well, seeing the lines a little better. Um, it's definitely given me a little bit more confidence in the greens the last couple of days, which, uh, which definitely made a difference. Well done. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Speaking of Saturday, third round of the Italian Open in the morning, 7.30 a.m., Gunnar Wiebe, the son of Mark Wiebe, is leading that tournament, heading for the third round. 10 a.m. on Peacock, it's the U.S. Senior Open, which moves to NBC at noon. And that's when we come in. Golf Central pregame taking you to Rocket Mortgage coverage at 1 o'clock. 4 p.m. on Peacock, the Dow Championship on the LPGA Tour. The team event will start and then move to Golf Channel at 5. And then Golf Central is back at 7 p.m. All right. Trip, let's talk about Akshay Batia first. Already has a couple of wins, including one this season. He's tied heading for Saturday. How do you like his chances? I really like him, Whit, for a, a lot of reasons. You know, what he said talking to Todd there, for a young man to understand this, because this is what the best players have. He said, when one part of my game's not there, I've got other parts to make up for it and build a score. And that's where your short game, your mental game, your patience, all the things that you get through – you know, years and years on the PGA Tour, well, he's learned it very quickly, and he's applying it now under pressure. He was right there with Scotty Scheffler last week, statistically looking at him uh, going into the weekend. He's the best ball striker as far as tee to green goes. He's the best as far as getting to the green. Uh, he's only missed three greens. He's gotten it up and down every single time, and he's hit it closer than everybody else. So, uh, And he said his iron game wasn't even that good today. So that'll tell you where he is. He's he's right there. And let's, let's not forget, I know – uh, Scotty Scheffler's won a, a gazillion times this year. Roy McIlroy does have two wins, one individually and one a team event with Shay Lowry. But I think Akshay Batia is going to join Scotty Scheffler as the first multiple-time winner this season on the PGA Tour individually uh, come Sunday because he's going to apply what he learned last week with Scotty Scheffler on the weekend, uh, and he's going to deliver at Rocket Mortgage come Sunday. How about another name or names of players that you're going to keep an eye on for the next two days? Cameron Young is one of those guys where, I look, if anybody's going to stand right there with him and uh, deliver, it's going to be Cameron Young. And he's seeking his first win. He, we know he can play difficult golf courses very, very well, but he's uh, showing he can play birdie ball quite well. In fact, last week shooting 59 in Cromwell, Connecticut, and this week tearing apart the par fives. Uh, if anybody's going to stand right there and take down Akshay, I think Cameron Young is going to get that first win. And when he does win, look out because there's going to be a bunch behind it. We're hitting the home stretch when it comes to the regular season on the PGA Tour, the Rocket Mortgage. Catch that third round action Saturday, moving day on Golf Channel.